So just filling my pockets, gels, waiting for the robin. Who's my ride partner today? It's um, stage, what is it, 17? Something like that, I think it's stage 17. Um, what I'm calling the queen stage, um, primarily because it's the uh, toughest day. They refer to the queen stage um, as the toughest stage in the Tour de France. So that's today, it's uh, the 14th of July, or the 14 juillet, it's uh, Bastille Day in France. Big celebrations over there. Um, so today we go over, back over Black Mountain, but we get up to it a different way. We get up to it um, through one, part of the National Park, which is, without any shadow of a doubt, that is Robin. Without any shadow of a doubt, one of my favorite places. It's where I filmed the intro. Um, it's beautiful up there. And, uh, all right, mate. <laughs> Ace Robin's here now. And uh, just give him a bit of a brief as to the route where we're going today. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's the, the Queen stage uh, on Bastille Day. So we've got about uh, 17, 1800 meters of climbing to do. Um, and we go up over the bit where I filmed the intro, uh, which is fantastic. So a bit of a steady climb up through to Castle, up onto the Beacons, um, into the National Park, and then we go up Black Mountain like we did yesterday, which is uh, it's just brilliant. And uh, might even try and vlog on the way up there this time. We'll see how we get on. Um, back down onto the main road, and then we take this left off the main road, rather than going right and up towards Senny Bridge, we take a left and we go towards um, a climb, which I think is called Book and Kerrig. Uh, and that's pretty gnarly. Uh, it's a real tracky climb. And that takes us pretty much to the highest point, uh, and then we drop back down into Castle and back down this road uh, on descent, back towards halfway, uh, Landovery, back to the cars. And that should be today. I reckon it'll be about four and a half, five hours. And uh, it's going to get hot later. So, um, yeah, make sure we stop when we can actually find some water, not like yesterday where we uh, turned into Lawrence of Arabia. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Well, this is Black Mountain. As you can tell from my breathing, I'm not exactly uh, trying to ride up it like Contador. Um, oh, I'm gonna be overtaken by this weird 4x4 um, that's already gone past me the other way. It's got this mad sort of camouflage, white, black and white camouflage on it. You'll probably better hear it in a sec. It comes herring around the corner. Anyway, incredible views over Paris, uh, just as far as the eye can see really. Miles and miles and miles. It's not too hot, not too cold today, it's absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, an honor to come up here two days in a row. Here comes that car, I think. I don't know. Yeah, here it comes. Check that out. What is that all about? Bonkers. Um, Robin's up the road. So this goes all the way up to the top, fire a switch back. Then we descend down into a town and go along the main valley road until we get to the next steep climb. This is sort of somewhat easier actually than, uh, than the second climb of the day. It all goes into making it the Queen stage. Toughest stage of the day, uh, of the tour, sorry. Uh, and that's a kite, a red kite up there. Uh, you can tell, you won't be able to see it, but they have forked tails. You can tell them from buzzards because of their forked tails. That's about all I've got to say at the minute. I'm just gonna soak in the climb and enjoy it. Uh, Robin stopped on the corner for me to admire the view.
we're about 74, 75 k in. Um, so this is the final big climb of the day. Uh, I'm going to butcher it. As one of my students will say, you're butchering it. Uh, book and Kerry. Um, I've only ever ridden up here once before and uh, it broke me last time but then I didn't know it was here and I wasn't anywhere near as fit and strong as I am now uh, but then I hadn't ridden you know 1800 kilometers or whatever it is I've done so far so it does feel ah, considerably better than uh, the last time I came up here already but Look at the scenery, it's just immense. Um, it's just such a quiet road. In a minute we'll join a stream that runs down through this valley between the two mountain ranges. And uh, yeah, I have to say this is one of the two climbs that's haunted me um, for the whole time since I put it in the plan really. Uh, this one and the Devil's Staircase tomorrow have both kind of played into my mind thinking, well, can I actually get up them? Um, the short answer is, yeah, I can get up them. Uh, just not very fast, but the climbing was never going to be about speed. It was always going to be about just getting up them. But Robin's been a superhero. He's way ahead of me. He's such a good descender. He's a trials rider when he was a kid. He's competing trials. Watching him descend is just a dream. I wish I'd put a camera on his bike when we were coming down the other side of Black Mountain. It seems like hours ago now. Well, it was hours ago. Uh, so this is it, I guess. Not really that far from the top of this now. I think the sort of worst bit is nearly over. Yeah, it sort of evens out a bit after this. And. Uh, we managed to get water on board and uh, we should be fine to get home, which is all we ever want to be able to do each day. So enjoy the view and uh, see you when we get back to the cars probably. So, Robin, now that we've got to the top of both the major climbs, Black Mountain or Book and Kelly? This one or the first one? Very tough. No, which one would you do again? If we had to do another climb now, right now, Ooh, or if you could only do one of them for the rest of your life? Probably do Black Mountain. Yeah, I reckon. Just the, the extra views. Yeah. Um, although this, was, this is quite nice. It's Black undulating, Mountain. isn't it? It doesn't, it's not like that all the way. And they say the tumble's a good climb. Nah, not compared to that. Not compared to that. That's a banger. Go further west, people. It's all over here. In fact, don't. It's not here. In fact, I'm never going to tell anyone where these climbs are. Keep them for yourself. Keep them for, yeah, 100%. Look at that view, though. You're Bristol, aren't you? I, I come up to Bristol. My son's in Bristol. Oh, okay. I go to Bristol events, but I'm down in Devon. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your name? It's Kevin Presland. Uh, Kevin Presland. I'm, I'm the one who started the Dartmoor Ghost 28 years oh, ago. Oh, wow. 25 years. I don't know if you've heard of it. I've Dartmoor, heard of it, yeah. Dartmoor Devil it was the one I went 28 years ago. And Dartmoor Ghost started running and it's happening in two weeks' time. Wow, fantastic. So, oh, it's good to bump into you today. So this is the view from my bedroom window, Black Mountain View B&B, which is a fantastic B&B. I'd highly recommend coming and seeing Adam and Heather. They will look after you fantastically. It's a brilliant place. And that is Black Mountain there, hence the name in the distance. This is where we went up earlier today and yesterday. And go up it we did. And I would go as far as to say that um, today's ride, and it's tricky to sort of remember each day and, and kind of comment on each one really but I'd go as far as to say that I think today was probably the most enjoyable 
stage out of the last 17 that I've done. Um, everything just kind of fell into place. I felt really good. Um, it was tough climbing, but I felt okay. Company was fantastic. Uh, Robin was just a great guy to ride with, and uh, we were like 25k into the ride before we even realised that we were a quarter of the way around. Um, he's riding really well, and the weather was amazing, and the route was good. Now we bumped into a guy called Kevin Presland. Um, Robin bumped into him up Black Mountain the first time, and then on our way back down, he was basically uh, heading the opposite direction to us when we got to uh, the top of the second climb. And we had a good, good old chat to him. He's quite a well-known Ordaxer. Um, it would seem and uh, it was really good to have a bit of a chinwag with him and kind of get some tips and tricks on how to stow gear on your bike that was good uh, tomorrow is an 80k ride short but really punchy it's got 1600 meters worth of climbing in it um, and I'm doing that with Stefan it goes up the devil's elbow and when I've got that one out of the way I've got to race back here get all my stuff in the car and get home for the last few stages so I will see you uh, on tomorrow's video have a good evening and if you haven't subscribed subscribe if you haven't donated money towards this, please do because all the money that's going in for stage 21 will be 20% uh, will be added on top of it. Um, <clears throat> and we're at about 11, just under 11,000 at the moment. So let's make it as close to 12 and a half as we can. And then that'll be topped up to about 15,000 pounds, which will have a huge impact on the charity. Have a good evening. Speak to you later.